There's something about making a picture that someone stops to look at twice that's unlike any other feeling. Ultimately, I'm a storyteller at heart. Whether I'm writing, whether I'm speaking, or whether I'm making pictures, that's what I want to do. I want to communicate to other people. When you hear the words architecture or photography, you probably think of those images that look almost like renderings. They're all about straight lines, one-point perspective, super deep focus. And that's not the kind of architecture photography I'm interested in at all. I think really great architecture is defined by the way that you feel when you're in it. And that's what I want to capture in my images, is that feeling, not the building itself. When I get to a space, my camera's usually at my side. I'm not trying to walk in and immediately start snapping away. I want to see what catches my eye, the reflections off the window panes, what's going on outside, what's happening inside, the relationship between those two things. And it's in those moments where I pause and I'm dialing in focus, I'm dialing in exposure, that I really start to feel the place and I just know whether an exposure is the right thing to make or not. I feel really lucky that I get to make pictures every single day. It's a huge part of what we do here at Hodinkee is visual storytelling. One of the greatest tools for telling stories about watches is adding context. That's what we're trying to do when we take a picture of a watch, is to communicate what that watch feels like, what it's like to have it on your wrist, the little details that set it apart. We've got the a Log and Sona Datagraph Lumen here. Uh, this watch is incredible. It's super fun to shoot. It's got a transparent dial. The movement's insane. It's, uh, it's a fun one. A photograph isn't a recording of fact. It's a recording of feeling. And that's what I want to do with my photography. I want to tell a story. I want to make someone feel something, and I want that feeling to be mine. <laughs>